Hey, everybody. How are you tonight? Hope you're having a good night. Um, okay, so there's an update with Scotty Morris. They still have not found him, but his mother did, on day five, come out and make a, a plea to the public. Um, now, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to let you listen to this and watch this, and I'll, I'll get with you right after. Scott, I love you, and I want you to come home. Sad and, and confused, and you're just, everyone is out looking for you, and we're not trying to scare you. You're not in trouble, okay? Um, if you're in a house and they come to you and you don't want to go out because it's the cops, reach out. Me and Dad will come get you, okay? I love you and I just want you to come home. I need to know that you're safe. Please just call 911. Tell anyone. Just, I need you home. I just need you home, okay? And I love you so much, okay? Okay, so in the beginning, she starts out saying, I know you're upset. I know you're probably mad. And it did glitch out some for some reason there. And when I watched it on there, it glitched out as well. So I'm not sure why that's glitching out. But um, and then she says, I know you're probably confused. Um, and then she goes into saying, but if you're in a house and you don't want to come out because it's the cops, reach out. Me and dad will come get you. Okay. Which is weird. Like there's something very off about this plea. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say? I mean, really it was a message to, to Scotty, I guess. Um, but there's just something, I don't know, something off. Something is off here. Now I'll go through and we'll watch it again. Um, but just the way that she is, and you could tell in it, it during throughout the throughout this this 55 second message um you know there's there's minutes where it seems like seems like she's actually crying and there's moments like right next to that that you can tell that she's not so i you know i don't know what's going on i'm just pointing these things out to you guys i'm not stating anything i'm not saying anything i'm just pointing some stuff out, all right, that I noticed. But again, let's go through and actually listen to this message. And it's it's just so odd the way she says it. Like, I know you're probably confused. I know you're mad. I know you're upset. Okay, so like what happened at your home that night before he took off? Why is he feeling confused? Why is he upset? Um, And then it's weird that she's like, well, if you're in a house somewhere and you don't want to come out because you know it's the cops, then reach out to us, which is which is weird. Like, she doesn't trust the cops or she doesn't. It's just, it's really weird. So let's go through and listen to that one more time. Scott, I love you. And I want you to come home. And, and confused and you're just, everyone is out looking for you and we're not trying to scare you you're not in trouble okay um if you're in the house and they come to you and you don't want to go out because it's the cops reach out me and dad will come get you okay i love you and i just want you to come home i need to know that you're safe Please just call 911. Tell anyone. Just, I need you home. I just need you home, okay? And I love you so much, okay? 
Scott. Okay. See what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys, you know, you know, think what you, you know, you guys take whatever you want from that. Um, this is just things that I wanted to point out that I thought were quite odd. And I still have a really bad feeling about this. Um, it also, okay. So friends, um, Scotty's friends, parents have been putting some stuff out online and one of his friend's parents said that, um, they often, often as punishment, shave his head. Um, they also make him sleep on a bed frame, a metal bed frame with no mattress. They, they say that CPS has been involved before. Now, for some reason it's other people are saying, no, the CPS has never been called, but according to his friend's parents, CPS has been called and in, involved. Uh, which I can clearly see why I can clearly understand why. Um, I'm just, I don't get a good feeling from her or the situation or anything. Now it was online that the cops have been doing polygraph tests. According to the sheriff, they have been doing polygraph tests with people. Um, they are currently looking outside of the parents. Um, at least, I mean, at least that's what they said. They never came out and said, so what the article had said was they had been doing polygraph tests. Um, and right now somebody asked if the parents were involved and they said, right now we're looking elsewhere. So I don't know if they, that means that they've been cleared. I don't know if that means they're like, we're just, we're just checking things out right now. They haven't been cleared, but they're not, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they're just trying to keep it tight to the vest, not to warn somebody. So I don't know. But as you know, uh, we'll keep you updated. I pray, send up some more prayers that Scotty gets brought home safe and sound and unharmed and pray that somebody looks into what is happening there for sure. Um, check with siblings, check, you know what I'm saying? Like this needs to be checked out because this little boy has a story and it doesn't sound like a good one. I mean, it just... And, and even seeing her coming out after day five, like not for nothing, but where's his father? Why didn't his father come? Why wasn't he there? Um, you know, she acted off to me. I got a bad vibe. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I don't know. But she did finally on day five come out and make a statement. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it. All right. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Prayers that Scotty gets brought home safe and unharmed. I love you guys. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. I'll see you next time.